I want to go back to talking about the infrastructure because you mentioned uh, some of the dates and benchmarks for things like water uh, yes. being restored and, and wastewater. Uh, what about electricity as you look to put up some of these lines again, or will they be underground? I mean, what has been the conversation like with the Electric Company and Utilities Commission about what that looks like, knowing that you know there is a lot of sensitivity over uh, how we got here in the first place? Uh, so. How do you, what does that look like in terms of the infrastructure of just the electrical grid moving forward in this area? Yeah, this has been the topic of conversation since August 9th, 2023, I can tell you. Um, there's not a meeting uh, that, go, does, that, you know, that happens that does, that does not get brought up. Um, of course, we're looking at lots of different alternatives in terms of how to fund something like that. Um, you know, I'm told by FEMA that we are not, they're not uh, a source of funding for a private company. So, for example, if we owned the, uh, you know, if we owned the utility as a, as a county government, we could apply for federal funds and have that, you know, put in uh, or, or help us to pay for that. But as a private company, we, we can't do that for them. So, um, I guess the question has to be, uh, that conversation has to happen with, with HECO you know, at the right time uh, about, uh, you know, there are two kinds of lines I learned about through this process, distribution lines, transmission lines. Uh, you'll, next time you visit Maui, you may notice our new neighborhoods, all of the utilities are on the ground, and that's probably true here on Oahu. Um, so we need to figure out ways how we can modernize, if you would, uh, these areas so that people don't have that, that stress of, of uh, possibly something like this happening. So it's definitely conversation. Whether they go to metal poles, which they did do much of that uh, in Lahaina when they were restoring power. Um, so, so to their credit, they did go to that um, uh, help. But I think there are some lines, and again, I probably mixing up distribution with transmission lines, which is which, but some they've gone with back to wooden poles and the others, of course, metal. Uh, we'd like to see that happen as well, especially now as we're rebuilding the town. It makes the most sense to most people. Um, but again, I think it'll come down to having that, that conversation with the utility company. But that is something that the, there is no hesitation. The community has spoken loud and clear about what they'd like to see happen.